Hello and welcome to our video series on tools for assessment. In this video, we'll be focusing on Microsoft Forms and its useful and interesting features for assessment. You can use Microsoft Forms to quickly assess student progress and get real-time feedback through the use of quizzes that you design and share with your class. To access Microsoft Forms, sign in your Microsoft 365 account. You can see quick access for creating new documents, presentations, workbook, forms, quiz, and so on on the main page. You can click on quiz and create a quiz. It will appear in the form section when you have done the quiz. Let's go forms dashboard, see what we can do and how we create a quiz there. Click on forms on the left side toolbar. To create a new quiz, you can click new quiz on the left side of the top. On quick import, you can upload a Word or PDF file from your device to create a new quiz by using what you already have. On the top right side of the screen, here you can explore templates and create your quiz from templates by clicking Quizzes and Assessments. On the Recent tab here, you can see recently accessed all your quizzes or forms. On My Forms, you can see the forms and quizzes you have created. On Field Forms, you can access forms and quizzes you have been responded and on favorites when you mark a form or a quiz as a favorite it will show here let's click on new quiz you must enter a name for your quiz and you can add optional description here select add new to add a new question to your quiz you can choose the question type like choose text written date and here you can choose more question types also, you can add a section to your quiz by clicking Section. Let's add a multiple choice question. Now you can add your question and your options. To add more options, click on Add Options. You can set up answer options for multiple answers. You're going to choose more than one correct answer. Click on the tick button in front of the option. You can also set a question as required, so your students have to answer this question. More Options button offers shuffle options, subtitle and advantage. Add a number in points text box to assign a point value for a correct answer to the quiz question. Select the message icon next to any answer if you want to customize a message for it. You can type your message here. Respondents will see the message when they've selected that answer. You can also insert media for question and for each option by clicking this icon. To make a new question, you can copy a question you have created or you can add a new one by clicking on Add New and you have to choose the question type again. On the top right corner, click on Style to customize the theme. You can set the background, choose a theme, choose the color you want and also add background music. As you can check here, your quiz is automatically saved while you are creating it. On Preview, you can see how your quiz will look. To share your quiz, click on Collect Responses. You can copy the link, send it via email by entering email addresses and clicking on Send. Download a QR code for your respondents to scan. Copy a code to post in a website. Or you can share your quiz on your Facebook or Twitter account. You can start a real-time quiz in a classroom or in an online lesson by clicking present. Your students can scan the QR code or go to the web page of your quiz which is shown under the QR code to start the quiz. Let's go back to our quiz. On the responses tab, you can see the results. Across the top, you'll see a real-time summary information about your quiz such as a number of responses and average score. Here you can review answers. You can post scores in here. You can easily view all of the response data for your quiz in Microsoft Excel by selecting Open in Excel. By clicking on More Options button, you can delete all responses, print summary, and share a summary link. Now you know how to use Microsoft Forms. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more video education content.